From any screen, tap Home at the bottom of the screen, then Charts from the list on the right. Surface pressure information is typically selected to be shown on either the Cease Conditions page or the Forecast page. For this demonstration, we'll use the Forecast page. From the chart screen, tap the Menu button at the bottom. On the right will be a list called Weather Options. The second two items in the list have slider bars that operate as on-off switches. When you tap the Layer Mode button, you will see it changes from Observed to Forecast. Notice the button above it also changes from Observe Layers to Forecast Layers, according to which position the slider bar is in. To view surface pressure information, the preferred setting of the Layer Mode button is Forecast. Next, tap the Forecast Layers button above the slider. Tap Surface Pressure. You will see a green bar appear on the left side of the button and an arrow symbol to the right. This indicates there is a submenu with more options. Then tap the arrow symbol to access these options. The submenu shows two options, barometric pressure and surface analysis. Tap on both until a green bar is shown on the left of the button. This indicates the information will be displayed on the chart screen. Tap the menu button to return to the chart screen. The red lines on the screen are isobars. These show the barometric pressure. When isobar lines run closer together, the pressure change is occurring at a greater rate over a shorter distance. It is pressure differences that set the air in motion. When isobars are spaced farther apart, it indicates the pressure is changing more gradually over distance, which should result in lower wind speeds. The red, blue, and brown lines on the chart are surface analysis indicators. Blue lines with triangle shapes denote a cold front, a zone separating two air masses of which the cooler, denser mass is advancing and replacing the warmer. Red lines with semicircles denote a warm front, a transition zone between a mass of warm air and the cold air it is replacing. A red and blue line represents a stationary front, a front between warm and cold air masses that is moving very slowly or not at all. Brown broken lines represent a trough, an elongated area or relatively low atmospheric pressure, the opposite of a ridge. Note the cloud with arrow symbol that appears on the upper left-hand side of the chart screen and the word now below it. Tap the cloud with arrow to show the next forecast. Tap again to show the next forecast and so on. Pressure forecasts are provided up to 48 hours out. You can also set the loop function to show the upcoming forecast changes automatically. Tap the menu button again to return to the weather options menu. There will now be three slider buttons available. Leaving the layer mode button in forecast, tap the loop button to slide to the on position. The surface pressure data will now shift between the forecast automatically, showing the upcoming changes in conditions at a glance.